Mr. Chairman. Mr. Finney, I had a series of questions for you that um, I'll submit to you in writing. I'm going to have to deviate from what I'd planned to do because of the ranking member's opening statement, uh, which I found instructive, if not predictable. So I want us to summarize for just a second. Secretary Clinton said she followed all State Department rules and regulations, but the truth is she did not. Secretary Clinton said her unique email arrangement was approved by the State Department, but it was not. Secretary Clinton said she used one device for convenience, but she did not. Secretary Clinton said she did not send or receive classified material, but she did. She said she turned over all of her work-related emails, but she did not. She said her attorneys personally reviewed each email but they did not. So when faced with a series of demonstrably false statements utterly impeached by both fact and logic, uh, the ranking member did what lots of criminal defense attorneys do, which is uh, blame the investigator. And when that didn't work, uh, they throw the Hail Mary pass of all criminal defense attorneys. Other people did it too. Which brings me to General Colin Powell, one of the most respected people in our country's history. You know, Secretary Clinton told the FBI, and I'll concede, she says different things to the public than she says to the FBI, but she told the FBI that Colin Powell's advice had nothing to do with her decision to set up her unique email arrangement with herself. Now, I'm going to say that again in case anybody missed it. Secretary Clinton told the FBI, under penalty of not telling the truth, that Colin Powell's advice, email, had nothing to do with her decision to set up that unique email arrangement with herself. Now, I will say this in defense of Mr. Cummings. Um, I understand why he may not believe her. I, I understand that. I understand why he may have credibility issues with anything that the Secretary said. I get that. But I think it would have been fair when you are using your opening to criticize Colin Powell to at least point out the person you're trying to defend doesn't even say Colin Powell was the impetus behind her decision to have that unique email arrangement with herself. So let me ask you this. Secretary Clinton was asked, because she frequently says 90 to 95 percent of her emails were in the State Department system. Have you heard her say that? Sir, I can't recall. Well, it won't take you long to find it. She says it a lot, or she said it a lot. And then she was asked, who told you that? Who told you that 90 to 95 percent of your emails were in the State Department system? You may find her answer interesting. We learned that from the State Department and their analysis of the emails that were already on the system. We were trying to help them close some gaps. I like the word gaps. I guess if you consider the Grand Canyon to be a gap, then yes, there were some gaps in her email. Did you have 90 or 95 percent of her emails on your system? Again, sir, the only emails we would have is what has been provided recently, uh, which was that 55,000 that we got. Well, I, no, I'm going back before that, Mr. Fendi. She said you already had them before she gave them to you. You already had 90 to 95 percent. Was that true? Again, sir, the emails that we're looking at, talking about the state.gov emails, she did not have a state.gov account. And as far as the emails that we received from her came at that time frame when it was turned to the department and it was processed by a bureau. But, but she made this contention before she ever returned them. She said you already had 90 to 95 percent. She was just helping you fill in some gaps. If you had 90 to 95 percent, why weren't you complying with FOIA? Again, sir, what I have in our system is what received by a bureau. Uh, Let me see if I can the, put that in South Carolina terms that I can understand. If she said 
that you already had 90 to 95% of her emails before she ever returned them, that ain't true. Sir, if I may say this, unless she's talking about the files that were sent to other individuals within the State Department sent to their state.gov account. Well, how does that capture personal to personal emails? And how about the 14,000 that she didn't turn over? Did you have those? Again, sir, what you're talking about here. I'll oh, I understand her position. Yes, the fact that I didn't keep them doesn't mean that whoever I sent it to didn't keep it. I get that. What if it's private to private? How are you supposed to have Sidney Blumenthal's emails if it's private account to private account? How do you have that? Sir, if you look at what we are doing today, in, in accordance to the uh, Federal Records Act of 2014 that was amended, it requires that if an employee uses their Gmail account or private issued account, they're required by law to send that email to their state.gov account that was amended in 2014, and that is what I'm briefing in the State Department briefs today. Well, it sounds like it was a couple years too late, but I'm out of time. I think the gentleman now recognizes.